even though, as we have seen in the previous parts of this unit, technological advancement comes with several gendered challenges, the dichotomization in which digital skills are considered to belong to the male sphere of journalism would be an oversimplification. As we will see in this video, digital skills are also part of strategies aimed at empowerment. There are many interesting initiatives focusing on closing gender gaps in technology and journalism. In this unit, we are going to focus on three kinds of initiatives and good practices. Networks and mentoring groups, female-friendly hackathons, and in-house training in media companies. The consolidation of networks and mentoring relationships among women has already proved to be an important form of leverage for women in the path to decision-making power. But it also has important merits when it comes to gaining digital expertise. There are several initiatives, events, organizations that are aimed specifically at increasing the digital expertise of women. For example, Web Girls, Women Who Code, or Girls Who Code. They are non-profits that are dedicated to inspiring women and girls to excel in technology, careers, and computer science. We will focus on two organizations in this unit that are aimed specifically at women in journalism and empowering them through technology. They also are aimed at bringing them to the forefront of digital journalism. There is the Chicas Poderosas Network and the Nadja Data Ladies. Chicas Poderosas is a network and an organization that aims to empower women journalists, social communicators, designers, developers through training in leadership and new technologies with a very deep focus in journalism and new media. It started back in 2013 when I was an ICFJ Knight Fellow in Chile, then Costa Rica, Colombia, Mexico, Argentina. And after five years, it has spread across 13 countries in Latin America. The aim is to have more women journalists working in technology in newsrooms, working in collaboration with multidisciplinary teams, and more women having the drive to start innovative projects and gain the leadership skills they need to run their own independent journalism organizations. At Chicas Poderosas, we help each other because we rise by lifting others. Although they have a different focus, the idea be behind these organizations is the same. Women come together, support each other in gaining digital skills and expanding their opportunities in the professional field. Marja Data Ladies started in April 2017 as a way of empowering women to report on data-driven issues, to report using data and to promote development issues, um, issues on health, agriculture and women in general. So basically you are you know, on a platform where you have access to a network of specialists who can help you visualize your data, who can help you do illustrations with data that you use, who can help you produce multimedia stories, you know, but you are telling the narratives yourself. You also get to do training from the other part of the, the Code for Africa, which is the platform on which Niger Data Ladies actually exists. So as part of that uh, platform, you get to be a part of the Hackers session, which happens um, once a month. And it's a platform where you, treat, where, where you have training, the one-day training on different data tools and, and um, um, data searching platforms. So you're exposed to those kind of things to help you, you know, do stories that have a multimedia approach and caters to the need of um, various audiences and readership. The advantages are not only related to the digital training possibilities, but also the positive impact on self-confidence towards digital technology. And there are numerous opportunities for women to expand their social networks during these events. Women build networking relationships with other women from all over the world, and this can counteract the old boys network. Backed up with decision-making power, this provides a fruitful ground for women to become leaders in digital journalism. Mentoring is a very important part of several of these initiatives. But there are more things going on. Have you ever heard about a hackathon? A hackathon is an event in which computer programmers, developers, designers and journalists 
collaborate intensely on projects and come up with innovative ideas on how to create, disseminate and consume media. These events are often male dominated, which can be a barrier for female journalists who want to participate. Furthermore, hackathons are often organized in weekends or after working hours, and this intersects with the gendered work-life balance obstacle that we have heard about in the previous video. In response to gendered issues mentioned before, there have been organized several female-friendly hackathons. They provide spaces in which women, but also men, can accumulate digital skills that can be translated in recruitment and career advancement opportunities. Two examples of these hackathons are Cracking the Coding Ceiling, which is organized by the International Women's Media Foundation, and also the Women's Hackathon at USC Annaberg School for Journalism and Communication. Media companies can also contribute to making the technological advancement story a more gender equal one. Internal training sessions for digital skills in newsrooms, they can reduce the gender bias and the access to digital skills. As we, as we have discussed before, the work-family conflict prevents sometimes female journalists from staying up to date with the latest technological changes. By having in-house training sessions during the work hours, newsrooms can create safe spaces in which men and women can experiment with these new technologies. Digital training sessions in newsrooms, internal knowledge exchange, could also focus on actively questioning gender stereotypes in relation to technology. A final point that I would like to share with you in this unit is that there is really a lot of potential in journalism education. In many countries, female students are the majority in journalism education. If journalism education fully embraces multimedia production and digital storytelling techniques, this can provide female students with the tools they need to navigate in the digitalized work environments. There are already very successful examples of joint degrees in computer science education and journalism. Now, let's go back to the central question in this unit. Are traditional gendered structures replicated in new digital spheres of journalism or do they provide spaces that go beyond gender? Well, the answer is that there is not really a digital divide in journalism that we can compare to the traditional forms of gender segregation, both horizontally and vertically. In some cases, digital skills are stereotypically associated with masculinity. But at the same time, they are part of strategies aimed at empowerment for women in journalism. Since there is an important value in these digital skills, by gaining more of them, women can enhance their opportunities for recruitment and career advancement. There are several initiatives which are aimed at women building digital knowledge, sharing it with each other, embracing the nerd stereotype and giving it new meanings. They are developing their own narratives on technology. And this really offers a lot of potential to hack the gender gap and crack the coding ceiling in journalism.